Hey, welcome back everyone. We actually made it. My name is Sushant Sudish and I am your instructor for this Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam series. So this is the final module review and the final Q&A we are going to go through this Microsoft 365 Fundamentals. So I'm wishing you good luck for your examination. All of these materials which I covered throughout the presentation is going to be available in my blog which is www.aguidetocloud.com. You can go to that blog and get more lab materials and details about the presentation and how to pass this examination tips and tricks as well. So without wasting any more time, let's dive deep into the module review. In the last module, which was module four, we talked about Microsoft 365 pricing and support. We understood the different plans available within Microsoft 365, which was enterprise plan, which includes E3 and E5. Then there was a business plan. Uh, there was an F1 plan. You can purchase Microsoft 365 for an academic use, which is an educational plan, etc. And in the second lesson, we talked about the support in Microsoft 365. We talked about different types of support you can get, how to raise a support issue within Microsoft, and how to check the service level health in Microsoft 365 services as well. So which was quite uh, informative. All right, so let's look into the first question. The first question is, which of the following Microsoft 365 subscription plan include Microsoft Azure Active Directory P2 or Plan 2 for advanced identity and access management? So we want to understand which plan include the P2? So you all know that P2 is either part of E5 subscription or P2 is the last option. So it is mostly available in the E5 plans. So the first option is business. So the business doesn't include all the advanced functionalities or advanced security features. E3, yes, it does, even though it does few features of security, but not all the advanced. Azure AD P2 is part of Microsoft 365 E5, or you can purchase as a standalone product as well. So the option is C and the answer is C as well. Let's look at the next question. You are the Microsoft 365 subscription administrator at your organization. As of 10 a.m. this morning, no one is able to connect their mailboxes to Microsoft Exchange Online Service. What should you do to check the service status? We just discussed about that, or I, I even talked about that in the previous module. So there is something within Azure, uh, Office 365, which is called Service Health. So when you go into Service Health, you can actually monitor the status of all Microsoft services. So the answer is definitely A. Uh, let's read through other options as well. Visit the Microsoft 365 online forum. Maybe somebody will post there, but that's not an effective way and it will take more time. Um, visit the Microsoft Azure online forum. Again, going to an online forum is not to check the service availability. It is to check uh, the certain support tickets or to find out certain details about your technical difficulties. Uh, or send an email to Microsoft support. Yes, you can do that, but you will take a lot of time to get a response. So the best and the right option is to go to your service held in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. The next question is, your organization is looking for a Microsoft 365 offering that is built specifically for first-line worker. Which plan should you choose? It's fairly easy, simple solution. I'm sure you know that answer. Education, no, because education plan is for academics and educational institutions. E3 is definitely not for first line workers because it is a bit more advanced and for mid medium organization and larger organization. C is include all the advanced security features and definitely targeted for larger organization. Microsoft F1, definitely yes. F1 or first line is a licensing program specifically catered for the first line workers. Um, is it 
Microsoft 365 Business? No, Microsoft 365 Business is catered for small and medium businesses, which have a limitation of 300 user uh, purchase. So you can only purchase Microsoft 365 Business if you have less than 300 users. So the right answer is option D, which is Microsoft 365 F1. All right, let's go to the next question. You want to review the status of your existing Office 365 service request. What's the best way to do that? So you want, the key word here is you want to review the status of your existing request. So what do you do? In the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, select View Request under the support plate. That is the right answer. So I don't even have to read the other option. So you go under Office 365 Admin Center and then you click on view your service request under the support blade. So this is the right answer. Let's look at the other options as well. Search the Microsoft 365 support forum. Definitely not. You will not go and search for your ticket under Microsoft 365 support forums. That's absolutely ridiculous. Option C, only tier one cloud service provider have this information. You need to call them. No. So uh, if you are under CSP, then definitely you need to go through CSP program, but this is not that option. Uh, email Microsoft support. Yes, you can get some uh, details about your ticket if you email them, but that's where not you go and check the stairs. You go under your Microsoft Admin Center and you click on view service request under the support plate. All right, let's look at the next question. Which of the following is an automated assistance bot designed to help you find answers to your Office 365 support question? So we are looking at a bot. We talked about it. Is it a fast track? No, fast track is a team which can get back to you for designing and implementation and migration of your Office 365. Is it a tech bot? Yeah, definitely it's a bot, but that's not the bot we are looking at. Is it a premier bot? I don't even know what that uh, bot does. Is it an Office 365 Assistant? Yes, absolutely. So the bot is named as Office 365 Assistant, which is an automated assistance designed to help you find the Office 365 support question. So the answer option is D. Question number six, which of the following is a channel where you can get direct access to Microsoft 365 planning materials and project managers? Right, this is what we eliminated just before. So Fast Track is a program where you can get direct access to Microsoft 365 planning materials and project manager. It's not where you can find in tech community, definitely not premier support, it's not the support option. It's definitely not under any forum as well. So the right answer is Fast Track. Right, so we reached so thank you so much for taking your time and initiative and bearing me and going through this entire course with me. Once again, good luck and best wishes for the exam. For the materials, what we talked through to the entire module, you can go and find in my blog, which is www.aguidetocloud.com. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel or if you wish, um, to keep up to date on the latest and the new content what I'm going to post. The next one, what I'm thinking is a new examination series for AZ900, which is Azure Fundamentals exam series. So my name is Sushant. I'm signing off and thank you so much for your participation. You guys take care. Bye.